Hey there, welcome back to Windows Fixer. Today I will help you fix the message some settings are hidden or managed by your organization. This issue often pop up due to a group policy or registry editor changes. But don't worry, I'll guide you step by step to resolve it. Let's dive in. But please follow this step carefully, especially when making changes in the group policy or registry editor. Mistaken can impact your system functionality, so proceed at your own risk. And the second thing is if you are using somewhere uh, like Office PC or somewhere else, then contact your administrator organization to resolve your issue. Otherwise, you don't have the permissions. So the thing is, you can see some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization. This is not error. It's something that you did just unfortunately, even though it's my setting privacy and then background application you can see some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization so if you are the admin the admin means you are using the account that you have and that you have full permissions right currently i'm using administrative account that's my own pc so definitely anyways now let me try to explain it in steps so it will be easier for you to understand the issue and how to resolve it gp edit group policy editor or registry when both are same uh, work in the same way almost so the thing is you need to know that the part of this the background application or even though the whole this scenario all in our administrative templates because whenever you create a new user account you will get again the new settings so in this scenario definitely you will uh, see in new settings in every new user account that means it's administrative templates and if it's related to the windows settings something like drivers if suppose i go into the settings like over here properties and then you will see here the advanced system settings and then these changes like settings performance advanced virtualization even data execution and not only this but device manager all these tool settings it's all related to the windows settings now what we are gonna do we need to find the setting that is over here privacy and then you will see here the background applications it's in the privacy settings and then in the uh, privacy and then background applications so what we are gonna do here again open the group policy editor and then we will go into the administrative templates because it's a user settings once you are here you need to find here the windows component now again it's related to the windows it's not something like third party software or something like that so windows and then you will see here all the settings like add features to windows active x install service uh, app runtime application application uh, compatibility some other but you can watch that later right now we need to go into the app privacy as i told you it's over here in the privacy section right now the next step is we need to find the background apps now in the registry settings you will see like this interface now we need to find here the background uh, application related settings so once we you can also see from here like if you click on the stats upward arrow you will see here on the top the changes that making cause causes let's windows app run in the background and this is the same function guys right just double tab on it and then set it to disable or even not configured not configured basically it's default setting enable means you are doing something different in it like use is in control force allow force any and then disable means this is totally not working which also you can say it's something that you are not doing anything with this you can read 
over here if you disable or do not configure this policy settings employees in your organization can decide whether windows apps can run in the background by using settings privacy on the device right you can set it to disable or not configured both will be same now close it close this again open the settings and then privacy scroll down background apps and see it's working now now it's like in in a user control user can decide enable whether disable it's your choice and that's it and that's it you can do these changes without any hesitation and it will work if you have any other question let me know in the comment section i'll guide you further see you in the next video have a good day bye bye